Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a technique I use to organize objects inside nested containers in Tableau. And I don't know if you've had this experience before, but sometimes it can be frustrating getting the objects into the correct containers when you have a nested situation. And uh, this is a very simple uh, dashboard which involves uh, a couple nested containers. So if we look at the hierarchy in the lower left, we see there's a tiled at the top, and then we have a vertical container which has our worksheets and filters, and then another vertical which has the uh, dashboard title at the top. And inside the vertical container, we have two horizontal containers, one for the filter elements and another for these two charts. And then the final worksheet is uh, simply inside the vertical container. So I'm going to show you how I got this final result using a simple technique to make it much easier to keep track of which object is going in which container. So we can start by building a new dashboard, turn on the title, and the, just to save time, I'm not gonna you know, spend too much time getting the title exactly correct, because I mainly wanna show how to deal with the um, placement of the objects. So we already have a vertical container here for the title, and so next I'm gonna add the second vertical container down at the bottom here. And then this is where the technique comes in. Before I do anything else, I'm going to add two text objects and call it uh, V1 for vertical one and the second one V2. And we just want to make sure those two objects are inside the yeah, vertical container. So we can see, oh, that one didn't get placed quite correctly. So we want to make sure it's inside the vertical container for this to uh, work. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so that looks good. We have V1 and V2 inside the vertical container. And then now we're going to add the two horizontal containers. So I want to put that in the middle of V1 and V2, and then, yeah, before I do anything else, add the text objects, H1, H2, and make sure I put it inside the horizontal container. And then I'll add my second horizontal container, H3. H4, okay, so I have all the markers in place now and I can start adding my actual um, report elements like the worksheets. So I'm going to put the customer detail report down at the bottom of those horizontal containers. So basically above the V2 and that looks good. It's above the V2, but below the horizontal containers. And then the, these two reports are going to go in the second horizontal container. So one thing um, that helps is to increase the height of the horizontal container when you start placing objects in there. So um, I'm going to select that horizontal container and then increase the height of it. And now I should be able to drag the sheets a lot easier. So there it is right in the horizontal container. Add my uh, second one. And then I'm going to do my filter elements. So uh, do filter for city. And then also filter for segment. And uh, so now I just need to drag these into the uh, first horizontal container. And same idea, let me increase the vertical height to make it easier to place the objects. Okay, and then I'll put my filter there into the first horizontal container and then the other filter as well. And I 
can make these multi multiple values. Okay, so basically everything's in the position now. We can, you know, double check it over here. We have um, the two vertical containers, one for the um, title, and then the other should have the um, two horizontal containers, which it does. And then the customer detail is under the vertical container. So at this point, we can get rid of all the helper text elements because we've got everything placed. We don't need them anymore. We just can remove them all. And then the one at the bottom there. So at this point, everything is in the correct uh, position. And that's pretty much the thing I wanted to show you is, you know, how to cleanly get the objects in the right containers by using those uh, helper uh, text elements. So hopefully you'll find this helpful and uh, thanks for watching.